Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Danny Ultimate, and welcome to a long awaited interview with Spike Didn't Jump. <laughs> and also, and we have bra. a special guest. Yeah. Yay. So, uh, it has been a while, hasn't it? Like, a couple of months. Jeez. Yeah, we've been trying to set this up for quite a while. Yeah, and it's just like, just like, um, interviews overall. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, finally. Um, We're bringing it back. Yes! <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna start this with a fairly interesting question. Uh, how did you, or why did you start LPing? Um, why? Because I was bored, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't really have a good answer for that. It's just, like, I saw other people doing it, and I had the equipment, so I was like, eh, why not throw my hat into the ring and let's see what happens. Yeah, it worked out great. So far, yeah. yeah. I guess I can relate. I just kind of want to try it and turn out really I was just, fun. I was just really inspired at the time. That's why I did it. I was like, well, he's he's been doing pretty successful. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I started. But everyone has their own, you know, origin, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, exactly. And yeah. his was being bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, as I, as we know, um, you are good friends with Red Falcon Games, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, so how did you, you know, meet him? How did you know him? Like, how do you meet? Um, you know, I don't exactly know how we first met. <laughs> I can't exactly remember. It might have been through something Ninbus related. I'm not entirely sure on that though. Oh, yeah, that but we've been, we've been friends for a really, really long time. We had like this friendly competition going on for a while. Um, when our channels were both getting started, we were uh, you know, like, around like a, a thousand subs or whatnot. And we were like neck and neck for quite a while. And then he inched ahead of me recently. So, you know, it's kind of annoying. It's like, I gotta get back in the game, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a little friendly yeah. competition though. <laughs> That's, That's always cool. good. Yeah, it keeps you it keeps you on your toes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you want to, you know, it, yeah, I mean, it, it, it does. It makes you, you know, want to, like, sort of outdo each other in a way. Yeah, yeah. And just, like, kind of well, makes you more into it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. But, uh, so, Awesome Fizz Prod. Where did that, like, come from? Just... <laughs> uh, I get asked this one a lot and I hate telling this story because it's so anticlimactic and so <laughs> stupid so I think it was like for my 15th or 16th birthday party um, one of my friends gave me a card and it had the picture of the awesome face on it and I really liked it, I thought it was funny so I just sort of like used that and then I was going to add productions to the end of it but back then oh. the YouTube or YouTube had a character limit to um, how long you can make your username, so I had to like cut it off at prod. <laughs> so that's sort of what my username ended up being. <laughs> so prod is for production. Yeah, a lot of people think it stands for like prodigy for some reason. Yeah. Awesome I don't really know. Prodigy. I didn't really think of like just. I thought it was just this random prod. sound. Prod. <laughs> awesome fish prod. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. So. Uh, how long do you plan on making videos in general on YouTube? Um, that's another tough question too. I, I mean, I've thought about it. I'm like, you know, when, when is a good cutoff point? When am I too old to be doing this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's yeah. like, at, at the same point, it's like, you know, when am I too old for a video game then? At the same time, I mean, as long as I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun and I have the time to do it. I'll probably keep Let's Playing. I don't see any reason to stop. And if I'm not Let's Playing, I'll probably make other videos to some degree. That's sort of what I'm pursuing as a career field anyways. Like, I'm looking into going into television production. So, I mean, in one way or another, I want to use my skill set on YouTube. I don't want to, like, only be working for some television studio or something like that. So I think no matter what, I'll always be uploading some into YouTube. And sorry about that, my chair is squeaky. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
but uh, yeah, this is kind of a tough question for most people because you know, you, you don't want to say like, I'm gonna stop next year. The league is it's just weird thinking about it. Like yeah, even exactly. when I think about yeah. when I'm gonna stop, it's so weird. Yeah, you can't imagine yourself not doing what you what you love doing. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's it's weird. Especially if it's in my case, at least it's something that I've been doing for almost three years daily. And like you just go wow. and look back on that, and it's like that's you know three years of my life documented through video games on the internet. It's yeah, really weird like to think about. Crazy yeah. dedication. Yeah. But uh, so here's a probably kind of a lighter question. What is your favorite Nintendo game series? Uh, Legend of Zelda, without a doubt. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, I I just got started. Uh, I just got started uh, on the the whole Zelda wagon. Um, right now I'm playing Ocarina of Time, and so far it's pretty cool. I mean, it being my first Zelda game at all, um, people have told me to like, um, that it can get a, a bit weird, but, uh, it's actually really, really fun yeah. and enjoyable. Weird isn't always bad. Yeah. Ocarina of Time, as you're, like, a lot of people have, like, the nostalgia factor with that game and think it's fantastic and stuff like that. I'm kind of not with them on that like don't get me wrong our green time is great it's a great game and everything like that but it hasn't mm -hmm. aged as well as it could have and when you play the newer three-dimensional zeldas you can see that yeah. and as someone who had, like if if you haven't played a zelda game before i would probably recommend wind waker first before ocarina of time just because it's got it's it's an easier Ooh. game i would say mm -hmm. uh than ocarina of time and um, I think the way it's presented is a lot easier for people nowadays rather than back in the day on the okay like, it was a different era back then when that game came out so gamers are more accustomed to something like uh, Wind Waker rather than Ocarina of Time where you know sometimes what you're supposed to do is really really cryptic mm -hmm. so yeah. that's what I would say but yeah I noticed but, you, um, uh, you go first is that the one is that is that the one with uh, Toon Link in it yes yeah 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 yeah, but for some reason, I like I can't. I don't like his design. Like I don't like to. I like I like the original Link because he like he's all tall and majestic and he has like his little sword and stuff. But like Toon Link, he he just looks weird to me. I don't know why. <laughs> That's what a lot he of people goes. said when the game first came out. So yeah. yeah I mean, I don't like, know. I, I guess it grows on you. I think that's like the thing people hate mostly on it. But otherwise, it's like a great game. Yep. Um, I know. I noticed you really like it because you're doing like another series on it. You done like <laughs> yeah. You did the I'm first, and now a... you're doing the HD version, right? Yeah, it's actually my favorite Zelda game. Yeah. So I'm a little biased. Oh yeah, that, I know. Honestly. Yeah, I know a lot of people like got really hyper when they like when Nintendo first released the uh, uh, the news about the like the the Wii U um, doing like a, a HD remake. A lot, a lot of people are going crazy over that. Yeah, it looks great. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm a huge fan of Zelda, but I feel like I haven't like really played enough games, so that's what I'm, I'm trying to work on. I'm really interested in the whole um, timeline and stuff. Like, I kind of know that. Uh, yeah. Like the back of my Are head, but yeah. It is oh, a very interesting so I, lore. so I, I'm guessing. So I'm, I'm guessing that you guys are looking forward to the new one, the new Zelda game. Yes. Yes, I am super excited for a Link Between Worlds. Especially with that new trailer that came out like the other day. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Oh, wait. <laughs> I might not have seen that. Uh, it, they released it at Comic-Con, but it's on Nintendo's YouTube channel right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to that, but, like, my selfie has been filling up with uh, X and Y. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had that same problem. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people can relate. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, nevertheless, uh, what is your favorite and least favorite LP thus far? Favorite and least favorite. Um, that's tough. I think my least favorite LP is probably the first one I've ever done, which was like Portal, just because it was so every, bad. Every, <laughs> so I mean, that, that was kind of easy. LP is the first one. Yeah. Um, my favorite LP. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, as I go back and watch my LPs, I'm like, oh, I could have done that better, or oh, I could have done this better. Like. I mean, if you had asked me, like, right when I finished Ocarina of Time 3D, I would have said, oh, that's without a doubt my favorite LP. It came out so well. But I went back and I watched some of the videos the other day, and, like, my audio, because, like, where I had my microphone and stuff like that, sounded, like, terrible. So, 
yeah, I had a lot of issues early on with uh, 3DS LPs, but um, I think probably um, Super Mario Galaxy is one of my favorite LPs. It was like before I got fully comfortable LPing, but it still, I think it still holds up rather well. And I wish I could sort of like um, figure out that chill style of commentary, like sort of bring that into the new into the new style that I have, you know what I'm saying, a little bit? Yeah, actually, I actually really understand what you're talking about. Like, I had the same thing, I actually, like, when I was, um, LPing like a year ago or something, I was always so excited and stuff, but now I'm kind of chill. I don't know, I want to bring yeah. back the excitement in my... So yeah, I, I can, I can relate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the, I can't... Re well, for me, it was a bit different because, uh, my my is is not in terms of commentary I was having trouble uh, troubles with in my beginning of my LPs. It was my voice. Like I hated my voice. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's the puberty factor. I don't even know, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm, There's I'm always that awkward period. To... <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But uh, yeah. Um. Do you plan on doing <laughs> any giveaways in the future? Um. I'm not entirely sure. Like, the idea behind giveaways, I don't have a problem with it or anything like that. But, it's weird how it sort of works on YouTube because you sort of hype this up and then you have all those people and you only pick like one or, you know, maybe a few out of that large group. And it, it, I don't know, it, it kind of, like the audience reaction to it isn't exactly the best at sometimes. So... Yeah. You'd have to do something to sort of cater to everyone in a way. And I'm not sure exactly how you could do that. So I think maybe once <laughs> I solve that conundrum, maybe I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, what do you think is the most important in terms of commentary, in your opinion? That's a pretty tough question as well, actually, because you can't really say, oh, well, you need this in a commentary, because there's no right or wrong way to commentate a video, at least in my opinion. So, it, it like, I would say just do whatever you're comfortable with or do whatever comes natural to you. <laughs> wow, yeah. voice crack there. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, do whatever comes natural to you. And um, just, like, I mean, what I do... Or what I did early on, what I still do, is I watch my own videos after I record them. And if I get bored at any point when I'm watching my own video, I make note of it. And then when I record the next one, I try and correct that. And I think that sort of um, self-examination does help out a lot. And then of course, uh, you have commenters who, who correct you on various issues that you make, or uh, mistakes that you make rather. And uh, give you feedback and stuff like that. So you sort of like cater to what you like and then what your audience likes as well. And you sort of find a balance there. And I myself, obviously, I lean towards more of the um, informational side of commentary. But then, you know, I'm friends with people who do more of the comedic style of commentaries and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a wide range of commentary styles that you can can do. And not one of them is, is better than the other, per se. Yeah, it's just like when you hear a good voice, you can... Like, you can tell that they're actually enjoying yeah, it. I, I see what you mean, Spikey. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing, too. You do have words. to enjoy it. Yeah. Because, like, if, mm -hmm. if the commentator is into the game, you can sort of relate to that and get into the video as well. Yeah, but like you said, yeah. there isn't literally anything uh, that you shouldn't do. But, there, like, there are some do's and don'ts. Like, you can't do anything... No, I mean, I know, I know what you're trying to say. Like, there are... There are lines that you can't cross when commentating. Like, I mean, there's a line of like, this is just way too edgy or way too offensive, and I probably shouldn't yeah. put that in my video. But I mean, there are people who break the mold. I won't like say any names, but obviously, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and I mean, I like his video, so hey, I mean, he must be doing something right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was wondering uh, what games are you looking forward to uh, LP? Like, are there any special games? Um, there's a few that I've planned right now. I think 
A Link to the Pe Between Worlds I plan on, on covering at some point. Um, as far as other games that I plan on Let's Playing, I'm, I mean, I'm going back, obviously. I'm going to do Super Mario Galaxy 2 at some point. I've been looking forward to that one. That one's been on my mind a lot recently, so that one might actually come out, like, after I finish, uh, Wind Waker Crazy and something like that, but those are, like, the main two that I have planned right now, but I do have, like, a list of games, uh, on my computer that I, I plan to go to at some point. Okay. Super Mario Ga cool. Galaxy 2, that is an awesome game. I don't know, which one do you like more? You is know, like, when I was when I was doing Galaxy 1, I was like, yes, this is way better than Galaxy 2, without a doubt. But I've been playing Galaxy 2 a lot recently, and I'm like, there's just so much more variety in this game. Like, it's a lot better. So, I think, I think I'm gonna go yeah. with Galaxy 2. I think I had to change my opinion on that one. Yeah. I don't Ooh. know, sometimes I felt it was kind of repetitive, but still, like, it was still, like, there were still new um, levels of stuff. I, I, right. I don't know, I haven't played it in a while. But yeah, I, I haven't played it at all. I <laughs> seen, but from my experiences through, like, Let's Plays and stuff, um, I don't know. I know it's a pretty debatable thing. Um, I know a lot of people who can't, who, who thinks the first one is better, and a lot of people who think the second one is better, but I'm kind of in between. I say I'd have to say I like two better, just because I kind of played it first and uh, yeah, first you come like first serve I guess. On you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the reason why I liked one so much better at first because I played that one first, but like I went back after not playing either of them for a while, played two, and then I played one. I was like, yeah, well, two's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, you've been you know on this for like like you said before for about like three years, three years plus. Uh, and like, what do you, uh, what is some advice you would want to give to like those small LPs out there just starting out? Um, advice to smaller less players. Um, don't try and do what people did five years ago. It doesn't work anymore. If you're trying to grow a channel, you can't go by the quote unquote LP rules that there are out there because there are none. It's YouTube. All right. I mean, <laughs> that might be sacrilegious for a few people out there, but still, I mean, what, five years ago, what worked to actually, you know, gain or grow on YouTube, if that's your goal, it doesn't work. If your goal is just to upload videos and you want to do any game you want, just go for it. It's fine. If you want to, like, grow an LP channel and turn it into, you know, a side job or something like that, then you're going to have to go out. You're going to have to spend a few bucks on some, some high quality equipment, like a microphone, HD capture card, stuff like that. And... You're gonna have to tr do something to give yourself an edge. I'm not exactly gonna say you should do, you know, day one LPs and stuff like that. I have no problem with that. I've done a few of them on my own. Um, and it does work at making your channel popular and stuff like that. Wait, but wait, day one? What's that? A day one LP is like you do in a let's play of a game, like the day it comes out. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so I, I have like no problem with anyone doing that. I've done those a few times as well. And they do work at, at giving your channel a popularity boost. But um, I've noticed recently that uh, that isn't so successful on smaller channels doing those day one games because at some degree you do have to have a subscriber base or a fan base to already help push that video out and then hopefully that initial reaction from your fan base will attract more and it being a new game that'll also bring in more and stuff like that. Um, I mean just other than having good quality and, and doing something to give yourself an edge I would just say practice, because the more you commentate, the better you get. Like, I like I mean, <laughs> I, I, this is another stupid thing that I've always told myself, but it's like, you know, the moment that I stop um, trying to be better or the moment that I say that I've already, I've become the best I can be, I'm just going to get stale and bored with it. So you have to always think of new things to do, think of ways to per perfect your craft and make it your own and unique. That isn't great advice. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's all the questions we have here, though. Like, but like you answered every question with, you know, it was overall. It's just, it was just a great interview. I just wanna, uh, well, we just wanna thank you for yeah. you know. Um, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, Thanks for having me on. Actually, yeah, putting your uh, time out and to be interviewed and stuff. No problem. It was, it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much, dude. It has taken a while, but 
Finally, we did it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and look forward to more interviews, hopefully, guys, after that. Yeah. You know. So, I guess we'll uh, just all say goodbye. End this off here. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> right yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, check out Awesome Fra Face Prod's channel. This link's gonna be in the description below, in case if you haven't already. And, um, yeah. You say bye, everyone? Bye. Later. Bye-bye. <laughs>